So this is the item from 1988 or 9, I think. Uh, signed to me for Al. Good luck. Uh, as a teacher, James Marshall, an ex. I didn't even know he was or had been a teacher until then. I didn't even know the man who I saw regularly was the writer, James Marshall. We were just friends back in a different place. And then when I was going for my certification, he appeared at the classroom and there was recognition between the two of us and we sort of knew where we knew each other from. I also knew James's mother. And I was like one of those super graduate students in the 70s or 80s, um, both actually. So I knew Frances Celia Butler pretty well and it was her intention, uh, well, what she said is, this is worth money, okay? When she gave it to me, she said, this is worth money. Why is she letting me have it? Um, honestly, my teaching career never did manifest to, no, well, did, but didn't. And I never got to put this up anywhere. It just sat in a box the way it is, as you see it, except I've unwound it now. Um, okay. Because the thing goes this way, a long way, oops. <laughs> so it goes, this, this goes from here, uh, Ms. Nelson's replacement, and these folks. Cigarette smoking chicken. Like I said, I really don't know the characters as well as I could have had I had a career. It's not on a towel, it's on a transparency. And I put the transparency on the towel just so you can see it better. 